Hello, this is Frank Valente with Frank Valente Real Estate and welcome back to my video blog. And today we're going to be doing a market update for July 2016. But before we begin, I'd like to draw your attention to two links on my blog. The first link, if you're looking to sell a home, click here. If you're looking to buy a home, click here. Now back to our topic. So today we're going to be doing a market update and what we're going to be looking at is the combined area of Sacramento, Placer, El Dorado counties. And we're, right now it's July 2016. And when we look at market updates, we always want to look at trends in real estate over a 12 month period. So I like to look at the last quarter of 2016 that we're in right now and compare it to 12 months ago, the same quarter, 2015. So what's driving our market? There's two, two things that are really driving our market today. And the first one is the inventory. And right now, if you look at the graph below, you can see that the inventory of resale homes is down about 16, 17% compared to the same time last year. Now this is offset a little bit about new home construction, but we're still having a tight inventory of resale homes. The second factor is the low, low interest rates. Interest rates on 30-year fixed mortgages are still below 4%. This is historic low interest rates. So these two factors, the low inventory and the low interest rate, is really increasing the uh, buyer's uh, hunt for homes. So there's a you know, much greater demand on homes. And the result of that is that prices are going up. So if you look at the graph below, you can see that the average, if we're looking at dollar per square feet, the average price per home is up about 7% compared to the same time last year. So that's pretty significant. So again, we got a low inventory, we got low interest rates. These two factors combined are increasing demand, which is pushing up prices. So if you're selling, this is great news for sellers. If you're looking to refinance your home, take some equity out, again, that's great news. If you're thinking of maybe being a move-up buyer, selling your current home and moving on to a second home, great news. If you're looking to buy an investment home, you know, at least you got the you may be able to get some equity out and do that. Now for a buyer, it's a little tougher to find homes than it was last year, but the good news for being a buyer is we still have these low, low interest rates. So you know, there's a little good news for everybody. Again, welcome to visiting my blog. If you have any questions on real estate, please call and email and have a great day.